so obviously the first part kind of showed us um each goes you know jealous side like um we saw him like you no know, creep just to see what yamato was doing because you know she was having karaoke with a bunch of female friends but there was also a bunch of guys so we did see a little jealousy over that but the main crux of this episode was the second half was that you know we saw Yamada and Ichika kind of on this double date with um you no know, one of the other you know, important side characters to this story so I don't know just seeing them double date like it was nice it was it gave me that warm feeling but it also like because when you watch that part of the episode like it um like in your mind it just kind of bring it brings you back to that time when you were like you know 13 and you know you you just got a girlfriend and you know you just hope that you're gonna be in that situation and it just reminds you of like going being in the mall really not doing anything but like I guess when they're like having fun with your partner at the mall um, at that age, you know, being at the mall, window shopping, um, and then maybe, like, I guess buy, like, one cheap thing uh, from the store, like, uh, socks or something, something small, and then you go to a court, food court, get food there, like, a little snack, and then, you know, wait until, like, I guess your car, um, your ride arrives, I guess. So, I just thought the whole, um, you know, second half of the episode was very nostalgic, I guess, and very heartwarming and everything. So, I thought it was a little heartwarming thing and definitely makes sense for that to be, you know, in one of them being it does make sense for that for that scene being in the being one of the main crux of this um episode in this series so i'm not really surprised as to why it's there but i did you know like i guess i did have that feeling and, and it just brought me like memories like that i didn't even know i had like vivid memories like in detail like um, just how fun I had, um, when I was doing what he did at, you know, his age. So, just seeing that, you know, part of it, part of the episode really just brought back memories, unlocked memories that, you know, I forgot I had. So, I thought that was a very nice thing. And then we move, uh, to the end of the episode, which was, you know, I also thought was, a nice, um, a very nice way to end this day, but it also, you know, kind of gives um, you more hype for next episode, see how things are gonna go, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, pretty much at the end of the day, um, you know, they're, him and Yamada, you know, they're chilling at the park bench, I guess, waiting for rides. And then out of nowhere, Ichika gets, you know, gets the courage to give Yamada this cup, this, uh, cup, this muffin. And to this, obviously, Yamada is, you know, happy to get something on White Day, uh, March 14th, White Day. And so, you know, she starts eating it, but it's revealed that inside the muffin, there was actually, like, a little, like, break stuff for her, pretty much. So, one of those gifts that, like, you eat your way to it. So, I thought that was very nice. Um, certainly a unexpected kind of gift. Like, I didn't even expect that. Like, all I thought was, like, oh, what a nice muffin. Like, that's a nice gift. Enough muffin. So, the fact that, you know, there was a bracelet hidden inside and... Um, you know, on top of it, each, each car, I believe, each car, he, um, he put it on her himself, so, 
I thought that was also sweet touch. Just overall, I think this episode was very sweet, um, very wholesome, and um, yeah, I really liked it. But um, certainly the way this episode ended certainly gets me hyped for a future episode. See what's, you know what, what our main character each guy's gonna have to deal with. Um, after pretty much making it official with Yamada, you know, being this couple now, he's gonna have to, um, you know, meet the parents and everything, and I feel like Yamada's, I guess, friend group are gonna make this, you know, much bigger deal because, um, not only is Yamada, you know, going out with this boy in her class, which is, you know, enough to make a fuss over but on top she also got this bracelet out of it so i'm pretty sure that some of the girls are gonna like s gossip over or something you know just talk see what happened um how to make you feel and all that girl stuff so it'll be interesting how everyone deals with this change in their relationship but um yeah, I guess we'll see next episode how it all turns out, but um, for now, all I gotta say is that it was a pretty cool episode, um, you know, small details, um, but overall pretty cool, and I liked it, but um, I think I'm just gonna end it here, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, bye.